Hi, I'm Nova Charter. Are you looking for a way to support your friends on Twitch? Have you ever thought about having an auto shout out? Let me show you how to do that. It's really easy with Mix It Up. All you need to do, open up Mix It Up, go to your hamburger menu over on the top left hand side, click on that, you'll see users. Click on that, you'll open up the users panel here. Uh, here in MixUp, it records everyone who's ever come through your stream since you've been using MixUp. Very handy. What you want to do now is find someone you want to add an auto shout out to. So I'm going to create an auto shout out for my moderator, also my wife, Little Cute Girl 86. So what you do is you can just type their name up there. Uh, they'll pop up down here. You can scroll over to the right hand side, click on the edit button under actions. And here a dialog box will pop up showing all sorts of information, how much they've been watching your stream, their age of their account, how long they've been following, how long they've been subbed, last time they've been seen in chat, all kinds of stuff. What you want to do is go down to options. You'll see custom entrance command. What you want to do here is click on this add command. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a chat command. I highly recommend you do a chat command or a chat message for your auto shoutouts because you don't want to clutter the screen with you could potentially have a lot of friends that you want to support and they all come by your stream. Uh, you don't want a ton of stuff popping up. So it makes more sense to keep it isolated for auto shoutouts in the chat. You can make a special shoutout command uh, that you can use for your overlay later on. Uh, maybe I'll show you how to do that in another video. So what you want to do now is go down where it says actions, click on actions, look for chat message. There it is right there. We're going to click on that. We're going to press the add button. Right here is where you're going to add in the chat message. Uh, make sure this is toggled on. OK, it should be by default. What we're going to do now is put a variable in. The variable for a user who triggers a command to start is dollar sign username. Okay. We're actually going to put an at sign in front. Uh, like you're adding or mentioning a user in the chat. Uh, we'll say uh, the user is an awesome streamer. Check them out here. And we're going to put in another variable for the link. That will be dollar sign user URL. And I'm going to end it with a Twitch global emote. Whoop. What? Have to spell. Virtual. Yeah, that's how you spell virtual, right? Virtual hug. Virtual hug. All right. So you can hit save. All right. But before we hit save, what I want to show you is we could use this command or the this line here for other users. To make it very simple, you can export these actions to a file. So we'll click on export actions to file. All right. We'll save it as entrance command and hit save. Now you could find another user. Click on import actions from file. There it is. Click on it and hit open and you're ready to go. All right. So we're going to hit save here. OK, make sure this is toggled on. OK, the entrance command, make sure that's toggled on. That way it will run. All right, so we'll go ahead and show you what this looks like right 
here. All right, that's it. Pretty simple. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow. Let me know what else you would like to know uh, in the comments below and have a great day. We'll see you next time. Want to see these tutorials and more in action? Head over to my live stream at twitch.tv slash Nova Charter.